welcome to yet another episode of Let's Talk About Some Stuff, uh, the longest running uh, video. Hmm, what do we want to call it? What, what have we called it in the past? I remember in episode uh, 16, uh, someone uh, said that they didn't really like it when we, when we called it an information uh, expose, which honestly is what we started out as. But, you know, I mean, you have to listen to your audience. So... Uh, you know what? We're just going to call it what it is. It's the, the longest running show uh, known to man. I believe we started recording right after the Bowling Green Massacre. Uh, hashtag never forget. Uh, never forget. So what are we here to talk about today? I learned some, uh, some unsettling and uh, frankly uh, bothersome news about killer whales. Orca, if you will, but I think you'll understand why I'm calling them killer whales by the end of this. Killer whales love shark livers. They love them. It's like a, it's like a, a rare and delicate treat for the whale killers, or shark killers, I guess, the killer whales. So I read this article which I did not do any research on, so you know that it's true. I read this article about the fact that killer whales will attack a shark and eat only its liver. Only its liver, like a surgical strike at the liver, leaving the rest of the body as just a, a desiccated, aquatic, Thing which I have lost the ability to come up with a word for. That's how shocking it is. Shocking, I tell you. And in the article they said it's a favorite treat. A treat for the orca. But how does the orca know that it's their favorite treat? I mean, the only way that they would know is if they ate a whole shark, right? They ate a whole shark... And when they got to the liver, they were like, hey, this is my favorite spot. This is amazing. But no, that's not what we're seeing, ladies and gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen, when we are talking about some stuff, we are talking about the truth. We are talking about some stuff. This is proof positive 100% that Orca are communicating their culinary desires, their fiendish fiendish appetite for shark liver to one another in orca language orca language they are talking it's like it's like they're foodies you know what i mean like they're out there snapping pictures tossing it on the gram showing their young exactly how to get to the liver and if they can do it to a shark ladies and gentlemen they can do it to you i say I say we consider this a, a warning and a wake-up call. A wake-up call uh, for each and every one of us uh, that we should be uh, very, very concerned about uh, in these trying, trying times. So on this, uh, the, uh, the current episode of Let's Talk About Some Stuff, I wanted to make sure that you and I talked about this and I look forward as always to hearing your thoughts in the comments I want to know what you think about the killers of the sea the surgical scalpel like precision with which they extract the lovely liver of the noble and vulnerable shark these these peaceful Peaceful animals are being preyed upon in a way which is, is frankly terrifying. And I don't know about you, but it makes me reluctant to go into any body of water under any circumstances from this point forward until we get some real truth. Why? Why is the government being quiet about this? Why is, is nobody talking about this? this 
outrageous orca, this, this clandestine killer. Why is nobody talking uh, about this, this outrage, uh, outrageous orca, outrageous orca, hashtag, hashtag outrageous orca, hashtag clandestine killer. Uh, I know that one is with a C and one is with a K, but it's still alliteration. Set. Let's fix that. Let's fix that. Because as you know, we don't do edits here on Let's Talk About Some Stuff because we're all about the unvarnished truth. Uh, we're all about keeping it. Uh, what's, uh, what is that that the uh, keeping it? Uh, uh, I know, I know you're all out there screaming at your screen right now. You're like, keeping it. And then you're answering what it is I'm supposed to be keeping it. Oh boy, it's going to come to me when I'm done editing. And then I'm, I mean, not editing. I mean, not editing. Um, when I'm, I'm done filming, if there's no edits, there's, there's, there's no edits. Uh, yeah, I may have to edit that out. Uh, yeah. All right. The second thing that I really wanted to talk about uh, today uh, was shoes. Uh, there's definitely something going on in the world, and uh, I think that people need to know. So uh, let's take a look. Uh, oh, hold on a minute. Uh, can we? No, we can't. Okay, so we can't flip the camera. Uh, while it's recording, uh, uh, because of the great camera conspiracy, which we covered in episode uh, 118, if you remember, 118. Woo, did we get some comments on that one, All right? Yeah, yeah, oh, okay. I uh, lost my plug again, but, uh, you know, that's what happens uh, when you're out in the world, is you lose your your pod or your plug, or I don't even know what, what I'm supposed to call them anymore. It's dangerous times, ladies and gentlemen. Some stuffers. That's what uh, that's what we decided we were going to call the uh, people who like and subscribe to the uh, to the channel, the uh, the like stuffers. So you, my faithful like stuffers, I see you, I hear you, and I believe in you. So we were talking about shoes. So the shoes that I'm wearing right now, I bought four years ago, and they cost me $6. $6. And they only lasted four years. Now, the ones before it, I should mention, bought from the same company, but a slightly different style. Uh, similar style. Similar style, but slightly different. I bought them also for $6, and they lost, lasted me a decade. So the first pair lasts me a decade. The second pair only lasts me four years. Four years. What do you make of that? I'll tell you what I make of that. There's a uh, there's a movement in this world, in this in this trying trying time, to take things that we desperately need, like shoes, and to rip them away from the people who so very much need them. I have to walk, ladies and gentlemen, some stuffers. I have to walk. And you know this. I have to, right? I don't have the ability to levitate, which we covered in episode 80. So, first one's 10 years. Second one's only four. They're trying to make it so that you're precious. American currency does not go as far as it used to. And how how can I prove that it's not going as far? Because they're shoes. What do shoes go? Shoes go far. That's the whole point of shoes is that you put them on and you go somewhere. One shoe went for 10 years. One shoe went for four years. They literally, I'm using the term 100% correctly there because I am in fact referencing the famous William Shakespeare sonnet. You know the one. Mention it in the comments for a shout out in the next episode. I'm referencing the William Shakespeare sonnet where he literally says that the government and the lawyers, the lawyers, will make it 
so that your shoes do not go as far. I see you. Yeah. Yeah, that's that. Oh, right there, see? It's right there, it's right there. And the third thing that I really wanted to talk about is candy corn. Some of you uh, international viewers uh, may not know what candy corn is. It is, uh, it is a, a candy substance that supposedly looks like corn. It does not. Look at the shape of the candy corn and we can all see what's going on, some stuffers. We can all see. Now ordinarily, with the three colors and the shape of the corn, I would tell you to avoid it. I would tell you, you know, use your, use your instinct and your intellect, right? Follow your gut. Stay away from it. But, um, to be honest, I really just like candy corn. I just, uh, there's something about it. It's just awesome. Uh, it's, uh, uh, it's pretty great. So, uh, just this once, just this once. We're gonna, we're gonna slide right into the pocket of big sugar. And, uh, we're gonna have some of that sweet, sweet candy corn. Until next time I want you to stay vigilant I want you to stay alert I want you to think about some stuff and I want you to join me next time as we talk about some stuff <laughs>